Right, so we want to now just break down some of those numbers for you. A glance at the winners and losers in this budget 2022-2023 that was presented on the floor of the House this afternoon by CS Okur Yatani. So, Assembly of Motor Vehicles and the Manufacturer of Motor Vehicles has vehicle parts has gained traction with a number of companies establishing plants in the country in recent years. So to encourage more investment, especially in the public service vehicle sector, the minister granted local vehicle manufacturers VAT and excise exemption. The manufacturers will also be exempted from paying import declaration fee and railway development levy. Also gaining from the tax measures announced today are those in the pharmaceutical industry. Health facilities will enjoy VAT and tax exemption on plant and machinery and exemption on import declaration fee and railway development levy. Charitable organizations are also the other winners in this year's budget. So under the current setup, only charitable entities that make donations to registered entities have been benefiting from deduction of cash donations from their taxable income. And so to encourage and support more vulnerable members, the Tax Act has been reviewed to allow all entities that donate to benefit from the arrangement. Now, digital service providers will also enjoy income tax exemption. You'll remember that was introduced last year. Now, other gainers include microfinance institutions, just like other financial institutions, they will be exempted from thing capitalization. Poultry farmers who import fertilized eggs for hatching will be exempted from paying excise tax. Now, those who bear the brunt of the new tax measures include any taxpayer who will be caught up in a dispute with the Kenya Revenue Authority. Now, under the amended Tax Appeals Tribunal Act, any taxpayer who moves to court to contest the tribunal's ruling will be required to deposit 50% of the tax in dispute. Now, this is likely to disadvantage taxpayers whose funds will be held in a special account for as long as the case drags on. Gaming, gambling and alcohol industry players are also losers in this year's budget. This after a 15% excise duty on any advertising on those products. This is meant to discourage their promotion. Now, it is expected that the industry players will pass on the cost to consumers and as a result, push up the cost of the goods or services in that industry. Now, you remember that Boda Boda operators have recently been directed to register afresh. Well, they will now have more issues to deal with from this budget. The new taxation measures require them to have a comprehensive insurance cover to operate. That will also, of course, cover their pillion passengers. Now, other losers are non-residents who will now be required to pay income tax on gains accruing from transactions involving financial derivatives in Kenya. And to discourage the use of liquid nicotine and to restrict its access, the government has imposed an excise duty of 70 shillings for every milliliter of the product. So that's a quick look at some of the highlights of the budget.